In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the weekday Mass on this Wednesday, the 20th of uh, October. Friends, I hope that you all are getting back to your freedom and enjoying it and getting back to your normal life. As we are getting back to our normal life, we are getting back to our uh, uh, public masses uh, from this weekend. So we will be uh, uh, resuming our public cel celebration of the Eucharist from this weekend, starting from this Saturday and then Sunday uh, at the usual time. So I hope to see you all at the coming Eucharistic celebrations. Now let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. You heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. You are the light that shines in our darkness. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Our reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. You must not let the sin reign in your mortal bodies or command your obedience to bodily passions. You must not let any part of your body turn into an unholy weapon fighting on the side of sin. You should, in short, offer yourselves to God and consider yourselves dead men brought back to life. You should make every part of your body into a weapon fighting on the side of God. And then sin will no longer dominate your life since you are living by grace and not by law. Does the fact that we are living by grace and not by law mean that we are free to sin? Of course not. You know that if you agree to serve and obey a master, you become his slaves. You cannot be slaves of sin that leads to death, and at the same time, slaves of obedience that leads to righteousness. You were once slaves of sin, but thank God, you submitted without reservation to the creed you were taught. You may have been freed from the slavery of sin, but only to become slaves of righteousness. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, our help is in the name of the Lord. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's song. If the Lord had not been on our side, 
when men rose against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us. Over our head would have swept the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our life like a bird has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed, the snare has been broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Be watchful and ready. You know not when the Son of Man is coming. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, You may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what hour the burglar would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, do you mean this parable for us or for everyone? The Lord replied, What sort of steward then is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time? Happy that servant if his master's, if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you truly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the servant who says to himself, my master is taking his time coming, and sets about beating, and men's, beating the men's servants and the maids, and eating and drinking and getting drunk, his master will come on a day he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the unfaithful. The servant who knows what his master wants, but he has not even started to carry out those wishes, will receive very many strokes of the lash. The one who did not know but deserves to be beaten for what he has done, will receive fewer strokes. When a man has had a great deal given him, a great deal will be demanded of him. When a man has had a great deal given him on trust, even more will be expected of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, God has given each one of us a responsibility or a certain duties which we have to fulfill in this world. Our responsibilities and uh, duties will differ from person to person. Some may have a greater responsibility and others may, or, or duties, or others may have a small duty to do or a small responsibility to fulfill. So, a little thing is, of course, a little thing. But faithfulness in little things is a great thing. God rewards us not for our uh, 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 achievements or our efficiency, not even for our gifts and talents, 
but for our faithfulness in doing the little duties that are given to us. And that's why uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta says, God has called me not to be successful, but to be faithful. So let us ask ourselves, am I committed and faithful to the duties in my life? Let's reflect. Bless the Lord of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of the human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless the Lord of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of the human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but provide us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrothed and entered willingly in his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, sighing, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death or resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are less worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to get Francis a Pope, Antonio a Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant the peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said, Your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fight of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live our reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that benefiting from the participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, everyone. I uh, hope to see you all at the celebration of the Eucharist uh, in this weekend. God bless you all.